I am in the vast campus of Father Muller Hospital here in Mangalore, which is at the threshold of a major change. The 127-year-old institute has a firm and strong legacy that the directors of this institution imbibe a vision which includes ambitious development projects to the tune of 100 crores for the next five years. Legacy to look after the downtrodden and the needy that should continue, which does continue in Father Mullahs. We have the lepers, we have people suffering from mental disorders, we have alcohol, drug addicted patients whom we look after. 750 beds we have thrown open as free care beds and nearly 300 lakhs, 3 crores worth of charity we dispense every year. So which would simply mean that uh, free care Caring for the needy, the downtrodden, does continue in Father Muller's the vision and the legacy of the founder is being carried out. Father Muller Institutions has visualized and planned ahead aggressive expansion projects for the next five years. Established with basic BSc, PCBSc and MSc nursing courses, Father Muller College of Nursing is now setting its foot on major expansion plans by acquiring five acres of land at Udyavar to offer better facility to its students as well as the patients. There is modernization. We have interpreted the signs of times. We have in a way upgraded our hospital setup. You go to any ward, general ward, they are as per the specifications of the Medical Council of India with newer facilities, better facilities, well equipped, whether it is staff, whether it is equipment, whether it is facilities, you name it, you have it. Started when Father Augustus Muller, a German Jesuit priest, dispensed homeopathic medicines under a banyan tree it then went on to become a leprosy hospital and then into a fully fledged hospital. Today, it also caters to the education of thousands of aspiring students in the medical field, be it nursing, social work and various other areas in this field. In paramedical courses in BSc level, the institute is coming up with several other courses including Allied Health Sciences, Biotechnology, Food and Nutrition, Operation Theatre Technology, Anesthesia Technology and so on. With over 1,500 employees, around 300 doctors, 150 teachers, 30,000 outpatients and 30,000 inpatients, this institution is a renowned centre of compassionate patient care. It is noteworthy that all these existing medical and allied health science programmes offered by Father Muller's charitable institutions contribute not only towards the diverse health needs of the people but also cater towards preparing quality health care personnel for the country at large. I am now dreaming of another five years, if not ten. And with this five or ten years, Father Muller's should possibly have a dental college a pharmacy college and if these colleges are brought in naturally deemed to be university status is just a stone's throw a stones away that means we have already prepared the application it is in the final stages just a matter of days before which we will submit our application to the competent authority so that Father Mullahs is granted the deemed to be university status. A centralized air conditioned new library project is on cards. The students will have a serene atmosphere which is conducive for all academic purposes. The major change that one can see 
in the Father Muller expansion is a separate NRI hostel for both boys and girls. This will be a big boon to both the NRI students as well as the institution as the needs of the NRI students will be met. Although few institutions in this region offer NRI hostel facility, Father Muller has planned a hostel which will offer the best of services to these foreign students. This however will go a long way in bringing in more NRI students to this hub of quality education. Keeping in mind the needs of the non-teaching staff of this institution, a township plan is taking shape. A kindergarten and creche for the little ones in the township and bus facility to the hospital are the specialities. We are planning to have a new library block as a cost uh, of about 4 crores, centrally air conditioned with all modern amenities and facilities. And therefore, in order to put up a library block, the present Sisters of Charity convent is going to be shifted. They are going to get a new convent just uh, at the quarters outside at a cost of 1 crore. So we have planned a centrally air-conditioned auditorium. Everything is ready at a cost of about 6 crores plus with all modern communication set up and facilities of an auditorium. We have again land uh, near the pump well where our new administrative block will come. And there are other plans which are strictly required like um, NRA hostels for boys and girls. It is a very important need indeed. At the moment, we have just housed them into hostels as the need arose. But the NRA hostels is a need regarding accommodation is concerned an NRI hostel with a single room facility. At the moment, there may be two in one or three in one, whether it is a girl or a boy. Nothing like their choice being satisfied. So when we have NRI hostel, not only NRI students are comfortable, but also with a view to looking at little income being generated not just from the fees that they pay but also from the accommodation that we provide with that also mentally satisfies NRI student when all institutions which have NRI seats also provide NRI accommodation. There is about 8 acres of land which I have acquired from St. Antinous at Kurcheka. Now already a compound wall has been put up Possibly, God willing, I see a township there in which all our non-resident staff who are willing to continue with us can be provided accommodation with a creche and a kindergarten, a plan of over 100 crores for Father Mullahs, a matter of five years plus. The question is as to where one will get the funds from. Our students themselves are the ones and our private wards are the ones which are generating income to us to a certain extent. But more than that, a financial planning. In the years to come, we would start new courses. Some of the existing courses, more students will be added, like the GNM from 60 will go to 100. BSc Nursing from 60 will go to 100. Other Allied Health Sciences courses will start from Mangalore University. In the clinical side, in homeopathic PG program, new courses are coming in. Regarding allopathic concern, are concerned, whatever that is now will be increased. That is from one postgraduate seat to two from 2 to 4, from 4 to 8. Uh, increase in fees, revenue. Oncology is another department which we are looking forward to establish. God willing, by uh, June we should commission it. It is about 10 to 12 crore project 
at the linear accelerator, the ultimate in cancer treatment. The equipment is already here. The bunker is getting ready. The oncology department is already functioning. While the cancer patients in and around Mangalore will be provided with cancer treatment, which is uh, uh, possibly the first in Karnataka to a large extent. We make it available in Mangalore. Naturally, a little bit of revenue also would be added to Father Mullahs to fulfill its projects and dreams of the near future. While providing facilities to our people at a cheaper rate, at the best way possible, and with all honesty and loving service in Father Mullahs, at the same time, making Father Mullahs as one of the most modern, with all facilities under one roof, within our means and reach, is also a dream. All have a right to dream. So also Father Mullahs. But with the blessings of God and His mercy, with the support of our teaching and non-teaching staff, and the generosity of our students and a public who are our ultimately guests. I don't think uh, Father Mullahs should in any way hesitate to venture into these projects and dreams to make things happen, is my vision prayer. With the current demand for other courses like engineering, Father Muller Institution is now spreading their wings in the engineering sector. They have acquired 300 acres of land at Kota. Though this project is still at the planning stage, it will take its own due course in concretizing this area of specialization. Father Muller institutions can pride itself soon to be one of the most modern, well-equipped, well-infrastructurally furnished medical care-giving hospital and quality-oriented educational institution in this region. At the same time, uphold its aim and objectives by remaining faithful to its charitable call and mission. With its core belief of serving the needy, Father Muller Charitable Institution has kept up the hope of life of thousands of people who cannot afford an expensive medical treatment. Father Muller Charitable Institution today is set to conquer its long cherished dream of expanding its horizon of not just serving the poor but also educating the aspirants. Their ongoing project under the guidance of Father Baptist Menezes has already taken its due course and is slowly taking its shape.